All right, everybody. This is Twin Spark CXC. I know it's been a while. Y'all haven't seen me in a while, seen or heard from me in a while, um, because I've been really busy. Started school two two months ago in January. Um, job and just life in general. Um, uh, and just really haven't had the passion to put any more videos up. Um, my last my last video, videos haven't been getting much views, but I've decided to do this video to run Main Plus Plus. Because, you know, I started using it and my friends want to know how to use it, so just gives me another reason to put a video up. But before I start with the tutorial on how to set it up, I just want to say that I will be starting another YouTube channel. And it will be like a vlog type thing and make more personal look into my life. This channel will still be up for tutorials and gameplays when I, whenever I decide to do so. When I get my new vlog channel up, I'll be sure to do a video on here as well. So those who want to can can follow me through my vlog. So anyway, so now we're going to be setting up main plus plus. In the description bar, you'll see a um, a link to download this. Once you have it downloaded, open it up. Create you a little folder and just extract the contents of the zip into the folder mm -hmm. just about done here Alright, open up your main plus plus folder, and it should look something like this. Alright, now once you now you pretty much set it up after that, you're fine. Um, now you need ROMs. Won't tell you where to get those. Use Google. But for our testing, for the sake of this video, we'll be using. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Both of these games are Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and I will explain why I have two. So, I want to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Which version of the game I'm going to look for? I'm obviously going to get the United States version. That's that's my preference. You may get the European version, you may get the Japanese version, depending on where you're at, what you read, or whatever. So. I'm 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 a, I'm like my I like my arms in the US format. So this is what this is. When you download your ROM, it should be in a zip folder. And it should have a special special name. Like this. It has to be exactly like that when you download it. And it has to stay in its zip folder. I'll explain that in a minute. Once you found it. Drag it to your ROM folder inside your main plus plus folder. Once you've done that, open up main plus plus. Minimize that. Wait for it to come up. And this is main plus plus. Now, click on all games. Now, this is a list of every single game main plus plus can run. These are not all the games that are available to you right at this moment. You have to make these games ready, available to you by downloading them and doing this process I'm about to show you. So now we have to find the game we're trying to run, which is Marvel vs. Capcom. Did I spell it wrong? Now I have the dot in it. Alright. Well, so now we have all the Marvel vs. Capcoms. Pay attention to the name column because what we're going to be looking for is the exact file name that we downloaded, which was MVSCU. Click on that one. Right click it and hit audit. Now, 
most ROMs. Now, what we're trying to do, our, our objective here is to make ROM check say pass. Once they say pass, we can run the ROM. Now, the reason why it says it will tell you in this box right here why it's failed. This is because a bunch of files are not found. And it tells you they're shared with its parent. Now, pretty much a parent is a different ROM that this particular ROM shares files with. We need to know which one that is. Of course, we don't know which one that is. So just hit OK. Minimize main. And now we're going to go to a website called MAWS, which is also in, the link is also in the description. So we're going to search for the ROM we are looking for. Marvel vs. Capcom. And in the first column is the file names again. Look for the file name we had, which was this one right here. Click it. And once you click it, it'll tell you everything. Once you click a ROM, a main ROM on the list, it'll tell you basically everything you need to know about this ROM, about this arcade game. Every, just every, pretty much everything. But what we're looking for in shot, wh what his parent is. Click that. Now this is the version of Marvel vs. Capcom we need to get to make our US copy of it work. And here's the file name it has. So once you find it, I already have it. You're going to shove that in your ROM folder as well. Make sure you have whatever version of the ROM you want. Plus, plus is parent. Because like I said, some ROMs share files with another ROM. And you need both of them. You, I mean, the parent can run by itself. In this case, the parent would be MVSC. That's the parent. It can run by itself. But there are some ROMs basically under it, if I'm not mistaken, they're called clones, like MVSCU, that needs files from the parent, and they can't be run by itself, as we saw earlier. So, once you put both of those in the folder, go back in main, and basically check the same, the version of the one you're trying to get. Hit audit again, and as you can see, we have passed. Hit OK, and the little chip right here has turned green. That means it's good to play. If you want, you can also check the parent. Also, auto the parent. Now, you have to download the ROMs. Leave them zipped. Leave their file names intact. If you need to check what file name they need to be, they're right here. Make sure they're named exactly, they're, make sure they're zipped in zips and make sure their name whatever is right here or when you go to audit main will not see it and it'll show you a message like this it's gonna say not found so it has to be named exactly what's ever in here and it has to be in zip and it has to be in the wrong folder so once you've done that you're pretty much done you can double click and your ROM will start to load. Sorry, it's cut off a little bit. Like I said, it's emulating an arcade machine, so basically you're seeing anything that you would see at an arcade machine. And you can, you can, by hitting tab, you can pretty much configure everything in game. And when you want to escape the game, press escape going to have you to hit enter, which is the select key. And there you have it. You have successfully set up main. So what you need to do when you're 
when you're trying to play ROMs is download them, make sure they're in their zip file, make sure the name of the file is whatever the game you're trying to run. Make sure it's in your ROM folder. Make sure you find it in the all games list, right click it, and hit audit. Once it says pass, double click it, and you're good to play. Now, some, like I said, some ROMs have parent ROMs that needs to be there in order for the clone to be run. Some games need BIOSes. Some games need extra files. If you're having trouble, like I said, you can always go to this website right here. Or if you cannot find what you need, if it's telling you a file that you're not sure of, or you can't find, just search it in Google. Most files that, you know, that that uh, name said I didn't have, I just search it in Google, and I was able to find it. So there you have it. I mean, that's how you set up and run main. And there you go. Have fun. This is Twin Sparks Exit.